This is the start of a multi-video project that I think is really interesting because I'm gonna build the micro meter micro meter this thing of course not this one because I have one but this one what you see here is the very first micrometer ever built and it could well be that this one was built by James Watt you know James Watt steam machines engines yeah and what is unique about this build is of course that I have plants normally I never use plants but I thought this was an interesting challenge now these plants are available on the internet I put a link below this video in the description and please go and have a look it's a YouTube video where they explain a bit the micrometer and the plants so of course I don't have any credit to these plants or this build but go and have a look these guys are amazing as you can see the thing is complicated there are two dials I have a other plan here two dials there is a threaded rod here in the middle and a kind of friction bearing in two halves and then I will have to make these uh, dials and, and, and these pointers and uh, it is uh, challenging there are also two parts here where the me measuring things uh, and wheels come together these are rounded but these are combined radii I have no idea how to do this now because of James Watt was British English UK-ish uh, I don't know how you want to call it of course this is an imperial machine but what I would like to do is to make it metric because I'm completely lost in imperial and I'm a metric guy so why not what I think will be one of the biggest challenges in this uh, build here is of course the threaded rod according to this plan this should be more or less diameter 10 millimeter so it could be very easy I take a piece of uh, threaded rod metric 10 and then take a nut cut it in half and I have steel half nuts and ready to go right but metric 10 has a pitch of 1.5 and I would like to have it one millimeter now cutting a 10 millimeter rod with a one millimeter pitch that's not complicated but it's the nut idea system that comes below here I will show on the plan I have no idea how to do this but let's do one problem at a time and I would like to start of course with the base with the mounting plate that according to this plan should be in bronze now I don't have any bronze or brass and I don't want to spend any money on this thing just because it's more fun to use what we have so steel it will be according to my plan here the mounting plate should be 7.5 millimeters thickness and it is of course a flat piece of in this case steel so first thing to do is to cut disc too small
in the set of plans there is this magnificent little template and I checked the measurements and they are correct so that's nice I can put it here and it will be an easy check now to install my part here on the milling machine I will use a piece of very precise wood well uh, I, I will I will check if it's precise or not and then put the thing on here like this and bolt it down and I will drill a hole the width of the slots in the table of course one hole here where there after there will be nothing and one hole here somewhere also where after there will be nothing but before I do that first I will cut off this rim on the shaper because the shaper will be much faster to do this than the milling machine As you could see, while cutting, my part tried to escape, but I managed to clean it up and now there's a little bit uh, bizarre kind of rim here. But when I check on my little paper here, normally this thing should disappear. And as you can see, I already drilled the mounting holes temporary mounting holes in here and also in the woody and uh, I think it's gonna fit perfectly fine and it does Now of course I mount this thing on a piece of wood because I have to drill and tap and I have to cut out this contour here and the wood will prevent me from cutting in the table so the piece of wood will sacrifice itself. I installed this cutter that I haven't used much because I completely forgot that I built this thing so let's see how it performs on rust I stopped cutting for a moment just to show you the difference when this cutting tool is coming over here, the surface finish is perfect, almost like a mirror. But the back side is re-cutting. So my first idea was that this thing is out of tram. But no, because it does it in both directions. And the surface finish on the other side here is completely crap. So I will again use this one, much better. This one, I don't know what's happening, I think it's too flexible.
Now the base plate is cut to thickness. Let's have a look at the plans here, which I think are really well made. Here, this corner, this is the zero and the zero point. And then if you have a DRO, of course it's really easy to determine all these positions for the holes. I don't have a DRO, but I can live with it. On this plan, oops, sorry. On this plan are all the dimensions for the outlines of the parts, which of course is exactly the same as this one. And also the zero, zero coordinates are right here at the same corner. And because this is a little bit complicated because of the center point will be in the nothing to cut this out, what I would like to do is to glue this thing on the part, use a little bit of wood glue and then I have here of course the zero, zero point and this will serve as outlines as if I used blue and then put all these dimensions on it. Of course this is not really precise but it's a really fine anti-bozo idea. So all I have to do here on my part is to cut this little surface, this one and this one and then without touching my dials I can determine this point here as a zero point. And then with the wood glue I will glue this thing on here so I have a square line here and here for positioning. I think that will work. Right, let's make a mess. While the glue was drying, I translated a little bit all these numbers here in metric using the steroid chart that Tom sent me. Tom from Hilltop Machine Works. And Tom, as you can see, I also use your pen. So, very handy. Thank you very much again. Right, first coordinates are set. Let's do this. Tap from Amazon. Not good. Taps made in Germany. Very good.
to take out most of the material for the contours I drilled a lot of holes as you can see and of course the holes you cannot see it means I didn't drill them That didn't sound good, but at least my cutter survived. Alright. All the milling machine work on this part is now finished and the rest of the work will be angle grinder and belt sander. And of course also some primitive hand filing. I have four more holes to drill. These two and these two that comes in the sides here. But I'm not gonna bother you with this. Let's start at part number 2 and part number 2 is a sheet metal bracket in a U shape more or less with a bunch of holes in it, in fact uh, 6 it's a small bunch and this thing of course is meant to hold this in place, the bracket comes below here and will hold this standing up and according to the plan this should be 1.5 mm brass that I don't have but I have 1.5 mm steel I wanna try something oh and by the way I have also a bozo attempt but it happens right so I drilled the holes and if I give a half cut with my angle grinder in this line and in this line and then of course on the other side in these two lines it will be easier to bend. Let's see if it works. I also took off the paint, now that it's flat it's of course way easier and I think I'm ready to go. And of course if it doesn't work I can always try something else. And that's hard. I'm gonna use a pipe. No. This one is cut more or less half thickness. But these two here in the middle, they're, I don't know, 
maybe a quarter of the thickness. So this will be even harder to bend than this one. I'm gonna try to cut them deeper. Okay, second try. Huh? That's why I don't hear you. I said second try. I think we can call this a fail. Let's try something else. I made a new one in 0.8 mm sheet metal. Now this is very soft and in theory this should work. Let's see. I don't see the line. Now I see the lines. Word. I have to rethink this bracket a bit. 0.8 mm steel I think will be enough. To, that's gonna hold, that's not a problem. But for my liking it's not a beautiful finish. But I'm gonna think about it, I'm not gonna bother you with it in this video. Now for next week video and I hope you will be there too because I'm gonna make the part that come here that slides and of course